Hello everybody, welcome back to F1 2014 with Miko Nodger and Mr. Kurt J. Mac. Mr. Kurt J. Mac. Mr. Kurt J. Mac is my father's name. No. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, think we qualified fourth and fifth. Yep. With Mac up in fourth. I really get a kick out of calling you Mac. <laughs> and I'm taking a look at the teammate challenge because it has changed a little now. I'm down to three greens. Mm. You have yourself a green. I will take them from you. <laughs> and if I can remember to get out of here. Race strategy. I think it has us on six and seven. I'm actually in the setup right now, so I'm letting you decide the race strategy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm on seven. Okay. Of course, we could always start with primes and switch to options. That'd be crazy. Be crazy. <laughs> More an option when you're starting in the back because yeah, you can, like... Yeah cut through the field or crash through the field <laughs> one or the other six and I assume we're going to be starting on new tires so no worries there let's hit the track I'm trying to think of what setup I want to go with I went with one to the right and then I just made some little changes ah. okay. <laughs> I was thinking of going all the way to the right uh... <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like this game's low downforce setups. Mm. Even though they're probably ideal here, I, I'd rather be comfortable than a little bit faster. Be aware. I'm aware. Are you aware? <laughs> Too bad they didn't get Hammond to do the voiceovers in this game. <laughs> it's not Hammond, guys. <laughs> it is. It's totally sounds like him. Now... The other one today, I don't remember what that one was. Oh, uh, the, the Stig? Yeah, the Stig. They replaced all of Jeremy Clarkson's voiceovers with somebody else. Uh, like Tanner random. Faust, who is the American Top Gear host, which I assume is why. Ah. Uh, I, I know who he is, I just don't know his voice. Yeah, no, so I didn't like, recognize his voice at all. What is this? All that wheel spin out of everybody, and no smoke. But it is a nice sunny day here. Duh. Will this turn ever end? <laughs> Ooh, that was risky. Risky. Are you still beside me? You're still beside me. No, somebody else is beside you. You're running into oh. beside you, yeah. <laughs> Alonso. Oh, oh. Also nice. Oh, red. Now I see Red Bull. Moo. Yeah, I figured that, that would. Oh my god. That was, <laughs> that was oh, I close. got spun. Oh, jeez. Oh, there goes my Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my tires are starting to blister. Well, that's probably due to the fact that I was just careening sideways. <laughs> 100 miles an hour. I was a little nervous about being too wide there. You didn't spin me. If there was any confusion there. I assume somebody came from the bottom and knocked you out of there. Yeah. Like, well. We'll have to look at the tape. I don't know. No, wait. <laughs> yeah. We'll look at the replay. What the heck happened? I don't remember if I moved down the track or... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Didn't I just get done with the thing? Oh, you never spin in this game. Yeah. Once you get spun out, that is. So I assume you went straight to the back. Yep. Although I'm right here, so I'm not yeah, okay. behind everybody. Kind of a good passing track. You get that big DRS zone on the back stretch. Mm. You get a lot of them. Once we get there. Put jump. Just made a bold move on Alonzo. He didn't even see it coming. <laughs> Okay, there's the uh, booing crowd. This will be interesting. Oh, they want me to pit because I lost my wing. 
Eh, ignore him. Yep. <laughs> I will do no such thing. Just keep in mind you're gonna have a slightly longer stop. Yep. This track, much better when dry. Yes. hard to see the, uh, the braking points in the driving line when there's a car directly in front of you. Yeah. Don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. He wimped out. Oh, but I went wide. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I'm driving as well as you've ever seen. Did you not just see me go through the uh, runoff area? Okay, enough DRS advice. <laughs> They have it, I have it, I understand. The old St. Louis sidestep! I, I kind of forgot how to drive this track when you actually have speed. Yeah, I know. So I think I took that, when you're on my inside, I took that much faster than... My like, god, oh, there's no water. I can just... <laughs> yeah. Go flat through here, right? Whoa, okay. Double durs. Double durs. All the way. <laughs> that did not work out well for me. Accidents happening in front of me. Okay. Okay, Gross Gene, what are you doing? Okay. That's right, his name's Gross Gene. <laughs> he spilled something on his jeans. <laughs> Another gross. Another gross. Heard his name is Grosjean. <laughs> but it's not our fault that people in F1 have silly names. Or that we're Americans and think that everybody else's names are silly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that may be the source. Found a way past, and then he found a way past. Rumbles are bumpy. <laughs> Star of the show. <laughs> Logitech G27. Now with 50% more force feedback. Yeah. Oh, so that's how rumble trips feel. <laughs> no idea. Box, box, box. Screw you. Does that DRS feel, jerk? <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh, Kobayashi, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> that poor guy has had a very troubled F1 career. You might just want to let him be. <laughs> He's... <laughs> Oh, wide. Oh, come on now. Cut my power just because I went off the track for a little bit. Been there. <laughs> done that. That'd be great if that's how they actually, like, policed that in F1. <laughs> Had a little button just to press, like, ha ha There goes your turbo. <laughs> that was 
those fools in Mercedes are battling each other. Fools! This track's not so bad. Of, of the modern ones, this one I give an okay. <laughs> A bit of elevation change would be nice, but <laughs> can't be greedy. <laughs> Not a fan of this huge gap between eleventh and tenth. It's usually how it seems to be. There's the people in the points, and there's the people not in the points. <laughs> If you haven't already, it might be a good time to use your spare fuel. Yeah, I did get some uh, up to here. The turn is too long. <laughs> And the guy that's animated, like, starts chopping at the wheel. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's like he's telling me, you should be turning more. Close battle up here in the front. I think I see your dot behind the pack. My dot. <laughs> your dot. One little dot. Whoops. Going off the track right there. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I didn't see that. <laughs> in the little green off area. There's going to be a lot of this on this race. DRS passes. Into the pits I go if I cannot crash. <laughs> oh my god, use 8th gear. Whoops! Okay. No enemies, no enemies, no enemies. In the pits. This is 3.716. I swear that is the <laughs> same exact time. <laughs> so I leapfrogged pit road. Okay. These tires, again, will take a little time to push get happy. Push. Yeah, if there's ever a time you need to be having a good lap, now is it. Try and stay with the pack after your pit stop. Sorry, Perez. He's telling me to, to be mean to you. <laughs> we believe the car ahead is running standard revs. Standard revs. All right. Hold in. Okay. You, I'm just coming to the last turn. Nice 
Iceman is in the pits. 6.2 for the wing. So about three seconds you're going to lose to the pack you were with. But hopefully they had a worse inlet. They're usually not too terribly aggressive to get on pit road, so that's a decent place to make up some time. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I caught up with, like, 10th place here, Hulkenberg. Cool. Sorry, who? <laughs> Hulkenberg. Oh. <laughs> okay, pay attention, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> I glanced to, to make sure I said that right, and they were stopping. And then I was almost uh, very, very close to Hulkenberg, <laughs> like in his seat. Hey, do you mind if I try this out? <laughs> yes. Stop. It's kind of made things uh, a little lonely out here. <laughs> well, them drafting off each other is likely going to make that end. <laughs> Go a little bit faster into that back hairpin when you're drafting and have DRS. Yeah. I might have to break a little bit earlier. I think I saw speeds of like 210 before that. That was 213. Yikes. <laughs> Easy friend. None of that business. Right in the tire, a little warm. I hope not, man. Hello, I'm here. Yep. Hi. <laughs> well, I forgot to ask. Uh, oh, no, now's not the time. You seem to be. <laughs> you seem to be slightly preoccupied. I'm a little preoccupied. Yeah. Uh, I think that's kind of a, the order of the game, <laughs> at least for me. I do notice. And perhaps you do too, and you can let me know. <laughs> Am I too quiet? <laughs> like, looking at my editing, I see my voice track, and then I see your voice track, and there's a lot more stuff happening in your voice track. I am a nervous talker, <laughs> so when things are, like, tense, I won't shut up. <laughs> so now that things are kind of calm, I'll probably just quiet down. <laughs> also, keep in mind that this kind of stuff is, like, primarily what I do. Like, talking while driving is what I've been practicing at for years now. Versus, like, trying to get me to talk in Minecraft, I'm like, okay, what the heck do I talk about now? <laughs> and I'm placing a block now. <laughs> it's dirt. Trust me, it took, it took a while. <laughs> And then in the previous series, it was, kind of like I mentioned, it was more of a let's talk about F1 podcast. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> Trying not to go too over the top with. Because F1 is silly and not everyone <laughs> <laughs> likes the finer details of it. Some people do. Crazy people, but some people. <laughs> And also, we're recording this one the same day as last one. Programming note. Yes. So I don't have any good juicy gossip to tell now. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. This, this week's been kind of quiet. Um, 
We're staying with the Pirelli tires <laughs> for a while. So maybe in another four years I'll learn what the colors mean. <laughs> and then they'll switch. And then they'll switch them up. The Mercedes are just like too busy racing each other to even care about me being ahead of them. <laughs> They're just like, okay. Oh, is that there how this go. is gonna go? Driving the pants off of it. That just can't be good for it. Pants. <laughs> I imagine the pants of the vehicle would be like the, the engine cowl. <laughs> it's covering the the private Important bits. bits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wing, the front wing is more like the shirt, it just comes off willy-nilly. The anatomy of an F1 car. Yeah, <laughs> Only <we> here. <laughs> well, unless you have your private bits on the front, like some. Yeah. <laughs> what did you force India? <laughs> I think the cage drum they have modeled, sorry, Catterham, as some people like to say, <laughs> has, a, has a rather um, envious looking device on the front of it. <laughs> it was an interesting year for F1 design. <laughs> Anything to meet the rules. We might be going back to that because there are after last week's wreck at Russia, where one of the cars basically submarined under the wall. Oh yeah, I saw that. Because the noses are now too low. So they like, you know, just plow right under things. That's what they do every couple of years. They go, oh no, they gotta be higher. No, they gotta be lower. No, they need to be, <laughs> they need to be obscene gestures. <laughs> they need to be blurred out on yes. national television. Normally the part of the race where I'll try and get fast lap, but I don't think I don't think the tires have it. You probably have some DRS going on. For that lap, I did quite a bit. Okay, that's two seconds more than the last camp you told me. So clearly, I'm doing something right. <laughs> you, you don't make it sound that way. Straight away to a hairpin? No way! <laughs> I'm so surprised by this. <laughs> I I think I'm turning like the exact same times every lap. 143-1. Oh, got it. Get up there to the podium. I don't think that's gonna be possible. Fourth is what I'm aiming at right now. Although I am kind of feeling my tires not liking what I've been doing to them. <laughs> That's usually the case when you drive from 22nd up to 4th. <laughs> Whoa! Better brakes than I do. That Red Bull, fix your brakes. Just about spun it out trying to get that fast lap, so maybe let's <laughs> not do that. <laughs> yep, yep, okay. <laughs> Winning, more important than fast lap. <laughs> oh, and the engine's unhappy now. <laughs> oh, that was probably ill-advised.
Yep. Where where's the gap to third? It's looking uh, at the map, it looks longer than a straightaway. It looks yeah. pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> like the front of a Force India. <laughs> uh. <laughs> And we won't even go into what uh, color livery they decided to go with. <laughs> Just say it doesn't help. So now that's the last lap, what were you going to ask me? <laughs> I was going to ask you if you did your homework. Did my homework. What was my homework? Watch Rush. <laughs> oh, no, I did not. <laughs> Oh, my homework. That's always a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We had homework? Does that feeling take you back? Oh, uh, what do you mean we had homework? <laughs> There's always that one friggin' jerk in class that always be like that. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't do your homework? I did all mine. And I say it was due today. Memories from 20 years ago. <laughs> so coming back to haunt you in your dreams. Yes. I don't usually. I know you often express the feeling of like you wake up and you think you have something due or something. That one I don't often get. <laughs> can't can't share that emotion with you. <laughs> I do the like six o'clock when I usually go to work thing comes around and I'll, I'll be off for the day and I'll like six o'clock I'll hit and be like wait shouldn't I be at work <laughs> no anyway. oh well I did not get fast lap from you mm. but victorious that works I would call this a victory <laughs> yes I would call Going that a major victory it spun out fifth to 22nd to fourth <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. Points. Twelve points. Twelve points. Good job. Now left. <laughs> left. Seven point gap. Oh, it's Coming closing. Coming Mercedes. <laughs> and to the lead. Drivers' championship. There's another part of that word. <laughs> <laughs> and fourth place. I think that's. I think that's where you were. Is that up one? I don't remember. I thought it was. I might have been. Well, no, maybe that was where it was. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> but I was... we're we've got the Mercedes like in between us now, <laughs> surrounding them like shocks. <laughs> and I'll let you have the closing thoughts. Ah, yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> I was spun out. I can't look at the replay. Oh my god, I'm apparently smoking a lot of pot too. My eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's how I deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to deal with the pressure of one somehow. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Top left. Actually, you probably can't see because the GoPro does a poor job of picking up uh, the screen versus, you know, the reality. But uh, now I am able to go above 60 frames per second. So let's go back to the track. We'll go back to time trial. We'll go back into our Red Bull and go back to China. So I think you can probably see it now. 120, 130, so it's going free range as many frames per second as it desires. And instantly you can see 